What's up, everybody? Sitting in an empty room. This is the empty room. <laughs> We've been building this fish room now for, uh, this is our ninth day that we're getting out here and uh, gonna get this thing worked on. So uh, let me give you a quick tour, tell you what's going on. Um, I'm excited, man. I can't wait to get this thing finished. Should be done, I'm hoping by the end of the week, maybe beginning of next week. Uh, so I've got some clips and stuff for you as we went through and built this. Uh, there's even some footage of me falling on my butt. You guys will enjoy that. <laughs> uh, anyway, let me give you a quick tour. Uh, take a look around and yeah, we'll see where we're at. This is the outside of the building. Shop doors over there. I got five foot doors. And then on this side over here, got dogs running through. And we got six foot doors here, so I got three feet on this side, three feet on that side. I've got an eight foot tank to slide in here, so that's why the doors are so big. And uh, that, that's the outside. So we're going to put a security system in here. Um, so I'll know anything that's going on. I'm going to show you guys a lot of cool little gadgets and stuff that picked up for this. Uh, Wi-Fi stuff that runs on batteries instead of power. Uh, so in case we do lose power, I, I get notifications and all that good stuff. Let's jump inside, take a look. All right, so obviously the building is the building. Um, where we're standing in here is a big mess, but this is gonna be the, the fish room side. The, build, uh, the room is gonna be uh, 15 feet wide from there to there, and then 16 feet from that wall all over to this wall. So my plan is to fill a rack down low there and then up high here so I can line this whole wall with tanks and then um, I'm going to build kind of a horseshoe thing here. So I'll have a little table, uh, you know, to work on whatever I want to work on. And then I'll have another partition coming out this way there. And that's what those are for. So let me kind of explain what all these plugs are. Um, the plugs up there, uh, those are all going to be on a, on a timer. So those are all lights. Um, that one and that one are lights. Those two are just going to be regular plugs. So lights, lights, plug. Those are lights, lights, plugs, and then lights. Um, so that way I have plenty of uh, space to put all these lights in. I think my plan is just to hang shop lights from up there uh, for the tanks on the top. And then I'll probably... Um, use the tank lights that I already have for the ones on the bottom. And, you know, we're going to have a planted tank and that kind of stuff. It'll be running CO2, so that'll all be on the timer as well. Um, everything's a mess in here, as you can see. So, the way we're going to do this is, let me try and find my way over here. So, as we walk in here, you see we have a little 22-inch door. So I can go from the fish room to the shop side. This will be the shop over here. Um, then I put a little loft in so I can store my crap. Uh, so we're going to run a sump here. And it will have a drain that goes out there. And then I'll have a, it's like a big cylinder that I'll be using right here. Uh, and this will be for water changes. So what this will do is this whole thing will fill up. Uh, this whole, the whole building will be heated and cooled, so I don't have any issues there. So what I'm going to do is set this up to where I have that, you know, that cylinder there. It holds 75 gallons of water, and that'll actually do my water change every day. So all my tanks will be hooked to the sump that's here. Uh, it's a 110-gallon sump, and I'm running a 4-inch drain line, which is that pipe there, uh, to go out the wall into the drain over there and then so as this is filling up into here i'm actually doing a water change on all the tanks uh so i'll run it on a timer probably run it like five minutes a day something like that and uh, i've got a two what is it i don't know i gotta look at the pump to see exactly how much water is going into this daily so and then all the tanks will drain obviously into the sump that's going to be here and that's my guppy pond, the thing that you guys have seen me pull in and out of the house for the summers. It's the one that I breed in the summer with. So that's the plan there. So everything will come through the wall into this area. And this will be all my sump and, you know, everything. So you don't see it when you're actually in the fish room. 
So, as we get into the fish room, um, we're going to be running three, uh, three inch pipe to there. And then where I'm standing here, it comes off of this wall, eight feet is like right there. It'll come out to here and then all this will drain. And I'll have an elbow going in so it all drains into the sump together there. And then what I'm going to do is with the sump, I'm going to have a trash can in it. And I'll be pumping the water up into the trash can. It'll go through all the filtration. Um, you know, I'll have like, obviously your mechanical and then biological, all that stuff. Uh, for now, I'll probably be using like old fish filters, stuff like that, just throwing it in there. Uh, so as I'm moving the tanks out, I'll have something already cycled. Um, so when I'm breaking down a tank in there, I'll take the media and throw it in here. I'll have a cycle deal. And then uh, we'll be running lava rock. Um, I'll probably grab like a 50 pound bag or something like that. And then use that in the trash can. So it'll go through the trash can. It'll be pumped up into it. Filter everything. And then, you know, kick back to the tanks via a pump. So we'll have everything going to the top here that will feed the top tanks the overflows will kick it into the bottom tank and then the bottom tank will drain everything back into the sun that's the plan right now it's where we're at but uh you know as i'm building this i'm trying to think ahead of everything i need to do and uh you know those are my best thoughts put all the lights on a timer something i can run from my phone do it while i'm building it instead of trying to do everything after and then um, we have the 120 that I have inside. Uh, I have a plug for the light on that and then a regular plug because these will be independent. They won't be running on the sump. And then the 450, which is an eight foot tank, will come out, you know, I think to that one there. And I have a utility sink that I'm going to be putting in here with the drain. So there you go. I've got my lights and my, uh, uh, my regular plug so I can run the filters, that kind of stuff on it. So there won't be any need for any heaters. Uh, this room will stay at 80 degrees at all times. Um, using a what's called a heat pump, and that'll be mounted up here. So I'll have the heat pump set up there, and then all the other stuff will be going outside. Um, so it, it works like a refrigerated area in it. If you don't know what a heat pump is, just you know Google it or check it out on YouTube. They're a pretty cool little deal. And that brings us back to this door right here. Um, most of the time I'll have this door open unless I'm actually building something in the shop. If I'm building something in there, then I won't be able to have the door open because of all the dust or whatever. And it brings me back to this, which will be covered. And uh, I'll have the sump covered so I don't get any sawdust or anything like that on it. And... Uh, that's my shop. I'm hoping to build some tanks and stuff in there. I have plenty of shelving and storage and that kind of stuff. So this is where we're at, kids. A lot of you wanted to see the inside. Here we are in the inside. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And I know it's not fish tanks, but it will be soon. Talk to y'all later. Peace.